how's it going everyone welcome to double pepper and in this video i'm going to be reviewing a player that i packed a couple of weeks ago and i was very very surprised by his stats and his price and i thought it's a good chance for me to introduce him to you guys and who knows he might be very helpful for your team and i'm talking about this guy jerome boateng it's currently very low price 28 million i packed him i think about three weeks ago in one of my pack opening videos and I've been using him for a couple of days very very impressed and we'll now go into the stats analysis and look at his numbers first okay so as usual for defender we like them tall so he's 192 cm 90 kg that is a very good build to a defender he's got a large body as well good 5-4 weak foot and surprisingly for center back he's got 3 star skill move so that is a surprise salary is 19 and then we go on to his stats he's got 97 strength 91 sprint you don't see such big players having such pace most of the time 89 jump pretty good as well for a big player 96 sliding tackle ball control is good marking is good standing tackle is excellent 94 and then his short passing is also good plus his heading is 96 Interception is 91, Reaction is 91, Aggression is 95, okay? And he's got good acceleration to him as well, and for some reason a good shot power, and also good long passing, and very good composure. Work rate is low low, so that is something that I will address in the review later on. Plus he's got a long throw in trait, which I think he used to be a right back, or something like that. That's why he has this trait. And then he prefers the long pass. Next, we look at his price. Like I said, he's very cheap. If we have a Singapore Malaysia server, right, he's probably going to cost, I think, 50, 60 million. Right? He's not cheap. But in the Thai server, he is very cheap for some weird reasons. Only 28 million. Generally, la, three or four days of playing, you should be able to get 28 million. It's not difficult to save. It's actually quite possible to, you know, save out 100 million over like two weeks to get a plus three version of him or if you feel rich a plus four version all right let's now go into the in-game analysis and i want you to really focus on how he performs in game because i think you'll be very very impressed now the first thing that hits me right when i use boateng right is this song by miley cyrus that's why i've been singing it as i was um typing out the review wrecking ball you know like i came in like a wrecking ball what power you really like rush in into the tackle and just take out everybody it's almost like a bowling ball like that a wrecking ball so every time he goes into a challenge he will destroy the other player but i seen there was a game where i was losing fact, because i was uh, re trying to review mata but he bullies the r9 like nobody's business just keep pushing the r9 onto the floor so uh, his strength is immense which is only going to be complemented by his large body and very high body weight He's also extremely aggressive when he goes into a tackle. Almost like he's bullying the attackers. You know, if you want to bring him back to a classic defender, right, it's almost like Nemea Vidic. Like, very rough around the edges, very, very aggressive. And he has that feel in game as well. I haven't seen a attacker so far who can withstand a tackle and go shoulder to shoulder with Boateng. Maybe someone like Lukaku can, but he's generally very very strong he's also quite fast for a defender with 91 sprint and 85 acceleration which makes him a scary prospect if you think about it because not only can he you know keep up with the attackers which he can and he can also easily nudge them aside so if you have somebody like mbappe trying to sprint past him right he is able to keep up with mbappe to some extent as long as he's, he's not too far behind or starting from a, a rest position he can keep up and then as soon as he touches Mbappe, Mbappe is gone ready. So in terms of general defending, he's also very solid. Very good standing tackle. There was a few moments where I see him making clean standing tackles. Strong definitely, like I said. And dominant in the air as well. This is something that I want to address. He is very tall. But surprisingly, he has a great lead, which is again like Vidic. And I don't remember losing a single header when using him, which is a very important thing for a defender. I didn't get to score from corners with him but I feel that with more games I definitely can score some goals with him during corners. Now if you look at his stats right he's also decent on the ball he's more of a 
ball playing defender with his high ball control short and long passing stats now this is something that i didn't really get to explore in the game because i don't really build up with defenders but he was generally assured on the ball and one thing i noticed is his composure now many of you might not notice this but if a defender has low composure under tight situation when the defender is under pressure if you press pass sometimes the pass will go very very badly wrong or they'll just boot it out without doing anything so basically the defender panicked but in this case i do notice that Boateng was able to remain calm under pressure retain control of the ball and play his way out of trouble so that is a big plus weakness as a defender i have to say i really cannot find any weakness in his gameplay not only is his village but he's also like Ferdinand in terms of uh, ball playing ability. This version of Boateng is actually like a perfect combination of Vidic and Ferdinand together. But I do have to say that the only downside to him is probably his salary. 19 is pretty high although the FP has been increased to 175. So that might really help to mitigate this. And this FP cost is the same as team of the year Varane and Virgil van Dijk but only at 28 million. So overall as a defender I really have to give him 10 out of 10 he is a perfect defender he has no weaknesses he is an absolute beast on the pitch with his high strength high aggression body weight good height to him speed generally good defensive ability the only downside is his high FP cost and work rate is not a problem as well so even though his work rate is low low I still find that as a defender as a central defender he is extremely busy in the pitch Constantly you'll see him around putting his body about trying to bully attackers That is something that I like in a defender like I like them to appear and then start pushing players around So in short, I feel he is more like a baby Virgil van Dijk But it doesn't make sense because he's older than Virgil van Dijk So in a sense, he's like a cheaper version of him nah. Is he worth it? To be honest right, he's damn cheap for his stats If you look at his stats right, 28 million is a steal Doesn't make sense one and if you're not a team of the year user like me, basically team of the year is like world best lah. I would strongly suggest pumping good amount of money into a high graded GR Boateng as he's going to be a defensive rock for you. In fact right, I went to compare the price for let's say roughly 1 billion which is the price of team of the year Van Dijk plus 2, right, 1 billion, you can actually get a GR Boateng plus 5. And his stats is much better, much faster, much stronger, everything is better. So in that sense, in terms of value for money, right? in fact, GR Boateng is better. It's just that I have a personal preference of using Team of the Year because they are nicer and also because they are limited. But if you don't have OCD like me, then by all means go for GR Boateng. Probably one of the best defender currently in the game, excluding the legends, the icons. Alright, that is all I have for the review video. I hope you guys enjoy and find this helpful. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So that you know when I post new video, check out our Facebook and Discord as well. The Discord has been pretty lively. And I'll see you next time.